Hello everybody and welcome back. We are in Planet Zoo today and we've got something a little bit different. We have got something a little bit festive and we've got something a little bit creative and unique. And if you're not guessed already by that intro, we are creating Santa's Grotto, which is basically Santa's little house where he resides, where he, children can sit on his knee and tell him what they want for Christmas. That's the kind of theme I went for with this build actually. And this build, before we go any further with the video, will be available on the Steam Workshop link in the description if you want to have Santa's Grotto in your own Christmas theme zoo or you just want to make your original zoo a bit more festive. The idea behind this, well, obviously it's nearly Christmas now, we are in December, so I wanted to create something festive and something fun, and I think I pulled it off, and I'm really happy how this actually came out looking. As you can see here, I've started off very, very custom 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 wise i don't know what terminology i'm trying to use here but basically i wanted everything to be made by me and custom i didn't want to use any prefabrications i didn't want to use anything off the steam workshop i wanted to do everything from scratch from start to finish and i did that at the start by creating this little custom wall here and i did that by just getting a plaster piece basically and placing that down as a normal wall and then covering it in these wood planks and recolouring them to give it like a red more like fantasy look I did I wanted this to look realistic but I also wanted it to look like like something you would find in a Christmas film like a fantasy Christmas film so to speak and I did this by adding these planks recolouring them to two different shades of red and the reason I did this is to give the more realistic feel as you can see it's actually just starting to snow now in the game but let's get rid of that but yeah I wanted to give it more of a realistic feel that the, the sun has been hitting the wood and some of the wood has painted away and got some damage and, and such like that and it, to be honest it was a bit of a pain in the ass to do well pretty much everything is a pain in the ass to do if you're doing it custom like this it takes a lot of time there's a lot of detailing work going on here as you can see and as the video progresses and the build starts to build up and more you'll see how long i think this build actually took me about four or five hours and for, for a small little building four or five hours is a lot of time you can see the foundation is now in the walls are in i've also planned out there in the far distance the actual where the chimney will be and you can see me just tr just adding the roof pieces now so adding the roof trim i went with a, like a traditional um, slanted roof as you can see me adding here and on the right hand side there you can see me just adding the roof of the little alcove and the little back entrance to santa's grotto i've got a little front porch as well and the little step what leads up to the front door itself and then it was time to go to work on the um, on the chimney as you can see me do here I skipped it because it took me a hell of a long time and I changed this chimney design so many times it's unbelievable but I kind of went with a more traditional look and you can see it more here but now I need to add some detail and you can see I've planned out where I need the door to go these are just some handles what I've placed in and then I used this funky door um, with giving it the same theme as well the white and red theme and again with the pillars for the overhang bit of the door I ended up using the pole pieces and the white and red as well and then a little cover over the door to give it that more realistic warm feel and then also a custom made door of wood and then it was time to think about the side and the actual like outside part of Santa's Grotto and I did this by creating this custom fence just by using these simple like tarnished wood pieces which worked really well and again looks realistic and then some of this um, rope this multicolored rope what we have now in the game as well as some knots and some custom baubles added in there all lit up how festive does that look and this is how it looked when everything was in place. You can obviously see I've added some little bits as well, some little beam to the roof at the top there. This is what it looks now I've added the lights and with all the lights off. As you can see, getting very festive now. Now back to the front of the building and it was time to add a bit more detail. So we added some wood beams along with some um, some nails, well custom nails as you can see there. And then the actual side of the, um, the top part of the roof, again using 
planks and making sure it's all custom and some Christmas decorations. And then we move to inside and I did him a little trick of using this rug piece, recolouring all the options to red. So we have a fully red rug ready to go for the interior of the Santa's Grotto. And all I had to do was duplicate that over and then go to work on the fire. I really enjoyed this build, not just the exterior but the interior of it. Let me know what you think of this. Does it get you in the festive mood? Are you in the festive mood? It's nearly Christmas. Are you looking forward to Christmas? Let me know in the comment section below. Hey, and if you're new around here, feel free to subscribe if you've not already. And hit that like button if you're enjoying this video and if you like this build. Obviously, no Santa's Grotto would be complete without a lovely Christmas tree and some presents to go underneath. Again, just adding to that more realistic, more traditional and more festive vibe we've got going on. And then it was time to move on to the fireplace, finishing off that. I decided to add in a little hangover, as you can see me doing here. And obviously, I just get the little man out here. If you don't know what that is, basically, it's on the Steam Workshop. It's called Arrow Man or something like that. And it makes, well, it helps you do stuff to scale. So that's the size of a guest. So you know how to do stuff to scale when you're building everything and getting the right height and width and length of stuff. See me just adding some logs in now for our lovely warm festive looking log fire and then adding the actual flames which is done by using these torches and just burning them down into the floor and into the logs giving it that feel that it's an actual fire. Yeah, like I was saying, I really enjoyed building this. Again, if you want this, it's on the Steam Workshop. Um, little custom builds like this I'm really enjoying. You can actually create a lot of interesting things in small spaces and that was the task for this it's such a small space but such an interesting space and concept and idea to work with there's the fire guard in now and now you can see me just playing around thinking about what i want the fireplace to look at look at sorry look like and i'd use the um the traditional wood pieces what came with the arctic pack i believe forgive me if i'm wrong let me know if i'm wrong in the comment section below and then again some festive logs to go over the top and some more decoration going with that christmas theme and obviously no fireplace would be complete in in a festive situation without stockings for our stocking fillers to go in and then a big wreath above the fireplace just to finish in everything off and this is how it came out looking at the end and you can see actually to the right of there i added some kind of seat where santa would sit that's it with the lights off everything looking festive everything looking nice and warm this is how the outside came out looking in the end let's just quickly switch to night time as you can see everything just looks perfect on the right hand side is a little snowman a built on the left hand side is santa sledge i already have this sledge on my workshop what i created last year for christmas my name's adam i hope you have a wonderful day merry christmas for christmas <laughs> and i will catch you in the next planet zoo video